Welcome, Paul Hicks here from YouTube channel Older is Optional and today we're trying a new wash. Now I've taken the boat out yesterday and it's got really really dirty, you'll see that in some of the footage I'm showing now, uh, lots of coral spawn around yesterday so that's a perfect chance to try this. You remember I did it on, um, what's it called Liam? Salty. Salty. I did it on something to be in the screen now and we'll see how this goes in comparison to it. We've got a storm coming so I've got to get cracking so uh, let's get into it. So here we go, we've got it all ready to go. It's a little bit of a different setup on the top here. We've got the arrow for salt away. One thing I will say though, so far that I'm very impressed with, uh, no leaks, not one leak. The salt one was horrible, leaks like a sieve. This thing, not one leak. Anyway, let's see how we go. We rinse it, then put the stuff on, then rinse it off. So we'll see how that goes. Soap there. Okay, so we can see the soap's going on now. We've got it on salt away. Uh, lots of good soap, good pressure. And we're putting this. Um... Oh, it seems, I'd have to say, so far, it's early days, but so far, I'd have to say it's, it's going all right. So we'll go underneath the boat. I'm really keen to see how this goes with no scrubbing. Because that's what it, technically, I guess it's what it should do, is you don't have to scrub. So we'll see how that looks. Still got the red stain dirt from that trip to up north, oh sorry, in the Western, oh sorry, in the Northern Territory at King Ash Bay. But, uh, I, I give this, it's lots, I'll tell you this much, it's nice and soapy. Lots of soap, wash all that salt away which corrodes. Okay, we'll let that sit. We'll go down to the back. Put it on the engine cover as well. Okay, you can see there, all on there. It is washing it away okay, but I'd like to see it be better, but it's not too early to tell. Got to give it time to do its thing. Salty Captain's the other one, Leanne, I think, we used. Okay, lots of spray down here. It is, it is getting it off quite good, actually. It did have, uh, you can see there, lots of, um, lots of residue yesterday from the coral spawn. Right, so now we're going to rinse it. So flick this across to do not drop. I right, rinse. Okay, so now we're going to rinse and see if it washes all the salt away. Okay, can you give that to me, please? Okay, so Leanne's got the sponge going. Um, just a couple of spots where it wasn't coming off. I, I did get it particularly dirty with that coral spawn, but it seems to be working quite well. It's even getting off the well. That's a very good point, Liam. We had red stained, red stained dirt from our trip to King Ash Bay, and what Leanne's saying is that. A sponge and this salt away is actually clearing that off which is fantastic because I've tried it with a pressure washer all sorts of different things trying to get rid of it and um, this is doing it there what is it? look at that man okay so we can see we can see that land has actually that red dirt is washing away beautifully with this spray actually that's really impressive because I've tried everything to get that off and uh, land's now getting off with the cloth um, as we clean it off with the residue of the salt away on it that's excellent I'm very impressed with that. It's still going. That's impressive, isn't it, Liam? So 
we can also, um, apparently, this is a really good um, sol 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 solvent through your mufflers. Just gonna put that first. So we'll see how that goes. Not that I know we're about to tell too much, but let's put these on. So now listen to that, 150 per. Okay, so there we go. Now we're um, giving some soluble through it. Um, the connector's not allowing the best flow. What's that? Yeah, is that the connections aren't the best? But I don't know whether it's. That, that It was pretty good, but as you saw yesterday as we were doing that together, we got chased out by the rain, so I'm just going to do a concluding uh, video. What do we think of Salt Away? In terms of the actual product and it working, it was fantastic. It, it cleaned the boat beautifully. It cleaned um, some red dust from our trip to King Ash Bay that kind of had impregnated itself into the, into the fiberglass. It actually cleaned it up, so I'm very pleased with that perspective. Um, I actually really liked the product. The fixtures were okay. I wouldn't say they were brilliant, they were okay. The only problem that I would suggest, I think the product's fantastic. My only concern around it is that it was so expensive. This bucket, which I gave to Leanne for Christmas, which she didn't really like, this bucket was reduced from $160 to $100. So it's still $100, but the recommended retail was $160. Now in that bucket, this is what we got. In the bucket we got a nice chamois. So the chamois is nice. We got a chamois. We got a container of um, the product. Not a big container, but a container of the product. We got a sponge. Get that from super cheap for two dollars. And we got this bit of gear here, which is what we put it on with. It's not bad. Um, it worked okay. It was. I'd give it six, seven out of ten for its ability. It didn't leak as much as the other one, but it goes okay. And this nice bucket, but but I had to put the decorations on it. But this bucket, that was reduced from $160 to $100. I think that's brutally expensive. But the product worked really well. Try it for yourself and let us know in the comments what you think.